Let's begin this section with a quick tour of the drawing tools in Adobe Illustrator so you can become familiar with them. This video is intended to show you the different drawing tools available. In the other tutorials in this series, you'll learn how to use them. One thing I love about Illustrator is the number of tools available that you can use to create and edit artwork. From simple shapes that can become more complex artwork to creation tools that you can use to create more freeform artwork and paths. A lot of the drawing tools are actually found here in the tools panel. They're all used to create paths in different ways. Paths come in the form of a closed path like a shape or an open path like this line. All paths, closed or open, are actually made up of anchor points, which can control the direction and the shape of the path. And line segments or paths connect those anchor points. To start with, the basic shape tools, found by pressing and holding on the rectangle tool over here in the tools panel, are used to draw closed paths like the shapes you see here. To create more freeform paths or shapes like this butterfly or maybe this ice cream, that's where the other drawing tools can come into play. The pen tool, the curvature tool, the paintbrush tool, the shaper tool, and if you press and hold down in the shaper tool, the pencil tool, among others. So let's take a quick look at each of these. The shaper tool found here is a great way to draw a freeform shape, sort of like a circle or a rectangle. And Illustrator makes it a shape like you draw them with one of the shape tools. Really useful for working in Illustrator on touchscreen devices or for creating and combining shapes in different ways. Now the shaper tool is used to create the ice cream cart you see here. The pencil tool found under the shaper tool is for more freeform paths, similar to drawing on paper with pencil. The ice cream up here was drawn with the pencil tool. You can set the tool to work the way you like and even draw straight lines with it. The pencil tool creates anchor points and paths just like all of the other drawing tools. The paintbrush tool found here is similar to the pencil tool because it's used for more freeform paths. The great thing about the paintbrush tool is that you can apply a brush to a path like a calligraphy brush or texture brush. The paintbrush tool is used to create parts of this flower. The pen tool and curvature tools are similar in that they offer more control over the paths you draw. The curvature tool, found here, is a more intuitive drawing tool that gives you the ability to create paths with a good deal of precision without having to switch tools. Now with the curvature tool, you can focus on creating and editing anchor points. You can add, edit, remove anchor points to control the look of the path. This butterfly wing was created using the curvature tool. The pen tool you see here is the most powerful drawing tool found in Illustrator as well as other Adobe applications. Using the pen tool, you create and edit anchor points to create paths. You can click a few times to create a straight line or press and drag to create a curved path. You have a lot of control over the path using these lines called direction lines. The creature for this app design was created using the pen tool. No matter which tool you use, they can be used interchangeably to create and edit paths depending on what you need. As you become more familiar with these drawing tools, you'll gravitate toward your favorites, but know that they each have special characteristics that make them unique. 